Big brother B. What? And I'm back again. Yeah. What? Big brother B, and you know my girl is always a tan. Hello, everyone. My name is Bradley. I have a Brad taste in music, and today I'm feeling very thirsty. And you may be asking, Bradley, why are you ranking every single song titled Thirsty? Well, I think this is actually going to be one of the most fun things I've ever done ever on this channel. And this seems like an idea that I could do for, honestly, any word prompt or whatever. So if you guys have any suggestions in the future for uh, other words that I should look up and rank these songs of, then you let me know. I'm going to be listening to every individual song on this playlist that I made titled Thirsty, and I'm going to be basically looking for the thirstiest, okay? The, the top tier of songs titled Thirsty. Uh, and eventually we're going to be ranking them from worst to best. We have 69 songs in this playlist that I have found titled Thirsty, which I thought was a very appropriate number to stop at, or else I could just honestly look for forever. <laughs> Unfortunately, the main event of today, uh, Thirsty by AJR, is indeed blocked worldwide and is one of the reasons why you are unable to actually view my newest AJR video. Okay. Oh my god, wait, this is actually kind of awesome. Thirsty and Miserable is a very intense start to this video, as it's a song that seems to be about being thirsty in terms of just needing something, um, but it simply never being enough, a, a constant need to consume, which actually feels like it's very appropriate uh, given the sound of this track. It's nasty, sounds disgusting, an extreme punk song that has a, a great attitude to it. I feel like this is an amazing start. <laughs> Okay, the drips represent the thirsty. This is, a, this is a five minute song, by the way. This is actually like more than twice the length of the last track. All I want is head right now. I want his soul. I need head right now. Yeah. Ironically, this thirsty made you miserable. One of the weakest R&B songs I've heard is this is like the biggest throwaway track ever. I, I feel like that was honestly really terrible. I give that a red headphones. I, I feel like at least Thirsty by AJR is entertainingly bad. That That's just boring and cringe. From Blade Trinity original motion picture soundtrack. In a world where the world is thirsty. Okay. From 2004 apparently. Wow, this is not what I was expecting or wanting. It's terrible. This is bad. All right, ODB, save this shit, please. Uh, what the fuck? ODB. That was terrible. That was the most awful commercial ODB feature you could ever possibly have in the history of ever. Holy shit, that was bad. That... Sounded like Paycheck the Musical. I'm giving that red headphones. That was Dog. unbelievably bad. That was so bad. This time is not my friends nor my family. Okay, uh, Thirsty by Marvin Sapp is a soul song that I can just simply uh, classify as not my thing at all, and I'm not a big fan of it. I give it a low shrug too. Wrong red headphones. That bitch wanna suck them in there, swallow my keys. Thirsty ass, thirsty ass, oh. Thirsty ass, thirsty ass, thirsty ass, ho. Thirsty by Gucci Mane is kind of just running through the motions in terms of trap music, but I feel like Gucci Mane's humor and decent flow makes this a actually pretty enjoyable trap song. I'd give it probably a 6 plus to a 7 minus. Thought it was fun. I'd give it a smiley ball. Next song is Taemin uh, with Thirsty from Move, the second album. No clue what this is. Let me put the head in. Yeah, this is um, not good. Oh, God. 
But this shit, this shit is formulaic K-pop garbage. I'm giving it a red headphones. Fuck this shit, dude. Dog. Fuck. Just the thought that there's probably someone who's masturbated to this song uh, alone makes me say I'm never. No. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm listening. Okay, so it's fuckboy uh, trap music. If anything, the beat saves this track and keeps it listenable. Thirsty is very generic. Um, I actually like the intro, sort of going in with that beat, uh, all of a sudden switching it up. I thought that was a very good way to start off this track. I think the singing is fine. Um, it just kind of comes off as very run-of-the-mill emo trap that has its place, uh, has its time. It just, it's, it's okay. I'd give it a shrug. I'd give it about a four, like a solid four. I'm thirsty. I'll give you what you want if you want Not terrible so far. It's good vibe, actually. I like the, uh, the additional vocals here. They add a lot. someone else Woodward on the flute now this song is a solid vibe I like where it starts I like where it ends I think the instrumental pieces are the strongest I think when the guy's singing it's kind of the weakest uh, as he just sort of exists in the song and doesn't really add a whole lot but uh, I feel like whoever that extra uh, singer is they they complimented it really nicely and overall I'd say it's a decent vibe smiley ball Pretty light smiley ball, but I enjoyed myself. I thought I had more moments where I was uh, just sort of uh, bobbing my head along to rather than just sitting there analyzing. Bloodthirsty. Off the album, Bloodthirsty. Here we go. Oh, God. Five Nights at Freddy's type beat. Oh, hold on. Wait, I kind of... Okay. I kind of like this. Okay, maybe not. It's... It's hard to say. I, I kind of like the vibe. I feel like it's very odd. It's sort of unique. I'd, I'd overall give it a shrug because I'm not like amazed by it, but I'm fascinated. Summer. Next song is 03 Greedo with the song Thirsty. Some of my bitches said liquor. She put her lips on a nigga. I'm such a pimp, my like, don't me. This is a 40 song album? Oh my god, it is. It's a two hour album. Look at that. It's a 40 song album right there. Now, there's some people in this chat who absolutely hated that song. I'm not one of those people. I feel like there is actually a vibe to be taken out of here. Um, but I do get some uh, enjoyability from the singing, the tongue in cheek lyrics, uh, the ridiculousness of it. I'd give it overall a shrug. I'd give it like a, yeah, like a four plus, five minus. Next song, Thirsty by Mariah Carey. Pull it up, pull it up. Watch it all fall out. Oh! Okay, okay. Thirsty in Paris? <laughs> thirsty in Paris? That's kind of sound like it, doesn't it? Thirsty. You're thirsty. Wow, this Mariah Carey song actually goes hard as shit. I thought it was very fun. I'd give it a smiley ball. You ain't gotta go to work. Work. Oh. K-pop, never mind. Yeah, the beat is very generic and boring. Thirsty for that pussy girl, I'm waiting here. I am sitting so patient here. Thanks. You want to show up to my house? What is going on? Yeah, Thirsty is a, a ridiculously generic sounding pop song that feels like anyone could have released it at any time. I'm going to give it a red headphones, not the worst of the Dog. day. Um, but I find it to be very uninspired and extremely boring. 
Thirsty featuring Lotto. This is from Good Girl off their self-titled. Sounds and looks oddly familiar to what we but maybe it's not. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is kind of this is a good start. <laughs> Not a lot of meat on the bone, but it's catchy. Oh my god, it's a fucking banger, dude. You don't love this song, you believe women deserve to be in the kitchen? Yeah, this song is completely not only carried by a great hook, but uh, a very simple beat that sounds like it goes hard as shit in the strip club. Uh, this this song is fucking amazing. I'm giving it a smiley ball, giving it an eight minus. Went hard as a motherfucker, dude. What can I say? It's it's you know it's a little tongue in cheek, but I like it. Girl, you worth it. I don't know what language. That was a nothing of a song. I'm giving that a shrug. I, I felt literally nothing. You got the lemonade. Next song uh, is a song by Day. Here we go. You got the lemonade, but baby, I ain't buying it. Megan Trainer. High school pop. I know you want the cake, but don't. It says 10 million streams. This person apparently is extremely popular. I'm at 2016. Uh, that auto tune is so bad. Damn it, I don't. It's growing on me. Shit, I hate that. I'm the kind of guy who listens to Zara Larson because I have uh, all my Robux invested in Zara Larson faces, okay? I straight up took a shower one day listening to like five different Zara Larson songs. Just, just because, okay? All right, this this kind of shit is no place in my life, but it somehow manages to sneak its way into it somehow. I don't know how. Thirsty, Thirsty is uh, cookie cutter corporate pop. I'm giving it a shrug. Low shrug, not a fan. Then we skip to the good part. Eighty percent of these songs is just a blend of mediocre swamp, uh, a mediocre swamp of people trying to make the next big hit. Yeah, you're right. I mean, if you name your song "Thirsty," you're usually not going for the artistic integrity award, you know. I thought that in terms of the shitty generic. Uh, pop tracks. This one is one of the more listenable, though still on the uh, bottom half. Been on the open road. Thirsty Boots. Thirsty Boots by Eric Anderson. Okay, this one's uh, breaking the rules a little bit, but let's let's see. Okay, we're giving a little bit of uh, wiggle room here. But the dirty words of muddy cells and take off your thirsty boots. Your feet are hot and weary. From a dusty mile Make you laugh Maybe I Country can try foot fetish It was made before Piano Man like Holy shit Oh my god, it was made significantly before 1967? Yo, this is actually not even that bad for 1967 This shit, if, if, if this came out like 50 years afterwards You know, now that I think about it, that ain't even that bad Yes, you. All right, I think we get the point here. Thirsty Boots is definitely a, a significant change of pace as opposed to many of the other tracks that we've heard today. Um, but I don't think that necessarily is a bad thing. A an interesting track that sure, Thirsty Boots in today's standards seems like a really cringe and weird thing to say, but uh, promise you in the 60s, nobody thought thirsty in the same way that they think of it in the Instagram era. Modern context does kind of screw this song over a little bit, but I actually think the song itself is pretty nice. I'd give it a smiley bowl. It's like a solid seven. Thirsty, thirsty boots. Yodelay, yodelay. Next song we have is uh, Thirsty by Trey the Truth, Wiz Khalifa, and Roscoe Dash. All right, here we go. This beat's kind of fire. Come 
my bumper. KD, find me in the club shooting jumpers. Count on everything froze. These diamonds old bombers. It's pretty generic, but like does the job, you know? Me in the front, a king, I could do anything I want. Oh. 30 days and fuck that shit. I'll be out spending all this money. Rich one, rich one. This actually dollars, sounds great here. Now, Thirsty has its issues for sure. I'm not really in love with the chorus, but it is something, as you can see, I saved as maybe it'll grow on me. Um, as I thought that the verses were really nice, they just kind of went hard, though everything about this track feels super formulaic, run of the mill, by the numbers, and it works as a club song. Okay, give it a six plus. Yeah, I'm not even gonna finish this one. This is um, this is bad. I'm giving this a red headphones. This is um, dog. The vocals sound extremely uninspired, bored, and like the riffing it over a beat that is just simply too much without actually delivering something of value underneath it. Um, this honestly feels like a complete and total waste of time. Next song, All Who Are Thirsty. Is Christian rock? It is. Oh. Okay, like, well, I mean, if you didn't know then, you know now. Born and bred. Give a minute to talk about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Ugh, fuck that shit. Hey Simon, thank you so much for the 779. It says stay moistured. God, the word thirsty is just so cringe, dude. I can't fucking take this word anymore. Oh, it's about to get very explicit. Look, Thirsty is a, an extremely sexual song that I feel like I've heard done many times before. Nothing all that new. Decent execution. Give it a shrug. Good beat. Kind of amp performance overall. Still Thirsty by Westside Boogie. Off of Thirst 48 Part 2. Most of the time I don't be in the mood. And niggas know how I lick it do. It got me hitting girls. I barely know like what you finna do. Get ahead. They trying to leave our shit severed. Several seats to them niggas mad I'm still standing. And now I see what trickle down from his actions. Cause I see signs that my son lack compassion. Wow. Okay. So this, this is the first time I at least consciously have listened to a West Side Boogie track. And Thirsty is right uh, in terms of energy. Which I'm stealing from Dynamic Editor who said that. Uh, yeah, his passion really bleeds through here, um, and I feel like he puts through a, an extremely emotional track that hits. I think the beat's kind of weak, but he actually uh, compensates for it with really solid bars, great storytelling. Overall, really solid. I'd, I'd give that 7 plus to an 8 minus. Take a break from drinking. And Did you take a break from drinking? Are you angry? You're telling me this stream hasn't had song variety? That's... That's cat. <laughs> eh, shrug, I'm kind of bored. I think... Next we have Eclipse Darkness. Yeah, girl. Oh God. So this Island Boys Part 2. That's come out 2020. You've got to be shitting me. Feeling a, a zero plus Dog. on that track. That was that was that was parody. I mean, that was so horrible that 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 was borderline parody of itself. That actually was probably the worst of the entire day. Okay, this is not good auto tune. Terrible. Dog. I find it to be uh, agonizingly boring. The beat's okay, but it just comes off as another shitty generic ass K pop song about the word thirsty. How many streams does this shit have? <laughs> Over 2 million? Wow. 
Okay. Well, I've been driving all night. The lo local group from your town? Street, it's kind I've of a bop. So long, I can't... It was hard. So I think the fact that I was willing to completely write off this song in the first half before the solo is kind of a, a bottleneck for this track, as I think that even though it has some really impressive instrumental moments, some nice solos, and some very tasteful little pieces to spice up the track, I think the writing isn't super interesting, uh, either is the singing, and I think the instrumental kind of overtook this track and made it uh, stand out even more. Um, though I will say, maybe it does help that I've listened to so much garbage, I think that if we're being objective, this is not something I'd come back to, it's not my kind of... Uh, song, but I do think that this is on the upper end of the list. I'd, I'd say overall for me personally, it's like a shrug. It's like a six plus. It has its moments that are really good. <music> Hank William Jr. Uh, off of an album called Country Strong, uh, which is an um, original soundtrack. Look, this song's kind of fun. I get what they're going for. It's not the worst thing I've ever heard, but my God, it's not my thing. I'd give it a low shrug out of just uh, the, the charm of it. Uh, making this, you know, it's it's a fun song. It's designed to be fun. It feels kind of fun, but man, is it just a little much. What the fuck is this album art? Uh. I'm probably drunk again. Probably missing work again. Bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> Came out twenty sixteen actually. That sound effect. Okay, so this song, um, in terms of the structure is pretty solid. I think that it actually has a really decent instrumental. Uh, that keeps it chugging along, never really taking away from the vibe. I think what loses this is, again, the 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 guy can't sing for shit, especially in the very beginning. Um, but I don't think that it's completely completely disposable or can just be completely written off as so bad that it's good. I think that it has some uh, genuinely catch, uh, catchy moments here. I, I think that eventually you kind of fall into the vibe and, and you get a, a little bit intoxicated with how fun it becomes. Um, though I have to say, it is... A little too ridiculous. I, I'd give it overall a shrug, but I, I, I don't hate this as much as some other people. And maybe it's because I see, again, some charm in here, um, and I am able to, you know, at least eventually bob along and have some fun, but it's it's not great. I'd, I'd give it like a four minus. Okay, it's scamming rap. When he's savage. Look, I like the cold vibe of this track, that Dark Trap instrumental. Um, I feel like the flows are uh, a little off, but not like an end-all be-all, right? It, it does feel like that sort of West Coast um, blue face style. I just think that these guys aren't really bringing anything to the table that I would want to come back to. I feel like the actual mix is kind of shitty. The beat kind of sucks. Um, the, the lyrics aren't that great. I, I think that this one is kind of just a complete dud for me. I give it a red headphones. I don't like oh, this I'm one. Um, I, I feel like there's literally no reason to come back. I'd give this like a two minus. Ain't Always Thirsty by Ray Scott. Well, I ain't no bad guy. I ain't always in love when I make love. Hoping I'd be drunk. Uh, Ain't Always Thirsty, I actually think is a sweet song, a sweet country track, even though it is very tongue-in-cheek, and I think that there is always going to be sort of a bad rep in this community when it comes to country, especially something that's like, you know, um, just kind of mainstream-ish, very clean-sounding country. 
uh, that, that feels like it could be very cut and dry and replaced with any other artist. But I think that this song is sincere and open, and even if it is uh, sort of just reciting, you know, sad uh, one-liners about, you know, drinking before noon, I think that it does it pretty well. And I actually think the song is very sweet. It's heartfelt and admittingly kind of relatable. Um, I, and I know that's what it's going for, but I, I, I kind of like it. I, I think it's okay. I give it probably a, a six plus, a shrug. Again, not super my thing, but I think it's definitely in the positive for me. Um, yeah, six plus, even maybe a seven minus. Yeah, yeah, smiley ball. You know, for the fact that I expected this to kind of suck, I give it a smiley ball. Eh? I, I don't know. I, no, I'm i gonna say no comment on that one. Uh, yeah. Alright. K Tempest. Uh, the book of traps and- The book of traps and lessons? I came to, under a red moon. Thirsty for water, or at least, the others who slumped at the bar without peace. She spoke of a truth that I could not confront. With my friends in the evenings, I laughed very loud as if I was extremely happy. I actually thought that was fantastic. Um, one of the most interesting, well put together tracks of the entire day. I'd give that a smiley bowl, a solid eight. I think that the ambience is amazing. Uh, sure, it's a spoken word track and that definitely throws you off at first, but the writing is spectacular. I think the most unique portion of the song besides the yodeling, which is very unique, is the... What is that? Maybe the pre-chorus? Oh wow, okay. Starts off really good. Yeah, these lyrics are not bad. They're vulnerable, for sure. They're a little cryptic, but... I find the song to be a little bit slow, a little bit boring uh, overall, but those are pretty much my only criticisms, as I think the instrumental is really solid. I think the song I, I would categorize as maybe just being a little too much for me, uh, a little uh, extreme, a little dramatic, without really delivering any sort of uh, crazy, uh, satisfying finish to it. Um, regardless, really solid performance, well executed, and I think it's one of the better of today. Give it a smiley ball and a solid seven. Next song, She Thirsty. By Soldier Boy. Yeah. 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 Next song, She Thirsty by Soldier Boy. Yeah. Yeah. The SoldierBoy.com yeah. album. She like my smile. She want me wiped up. She like my swag. She like my swag. She like my hip. Alright, I'm kind of done listening to this. Um, I feel like She Thirsty is a piece of novelty. It sort of exists in a time capsule. I think that it's aged horribly. It sounds like uh, it's trying to be a ludicrous song, but it's ludicrously horribly produced. Um, I think that this song is kind of terrible, but also it's part of the reason why I think it's sort of fun. I'd give it a shrug overall. I like the sample. Whoa, okay. She said she thirsty, but she listening to AJR Street Thirsty. So I said, but you can't come over yet dirty. Thirsty is fun. I'd give it a shrug. Not the best song I've ever heard. It's a nice little beat. A, a decent little uh, interlude uh, to all the other bullshit that we're listening to. It's Yeah, it's a terrible cover, Red Headphones. Fuck that shit, man. Dog Next song, Thirsty Thursday by Hack Baker off of Babylon. It's literally called Thirsty Thursday. How can it be bad? Okay. It's not great. It's okay. Eh, shrug. I have really nothing to say about that. It's okay. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. I'm in the middle. The first time you met you a friend of mine. What the fuck is this singing, homie? Bruh, what? The hell is this switch up? Miracle Musical by AJR type beat? 
the longest three minute song I've ever heard in my life. I'm giving it a red headphones and moving the fuck on Dog. from this bullshit, dude. I hate the sound of this, man. Quirky, indie, anyone can make it core. <laughs> Thirsty is a pretty okay French um, dance uh, club song. So, or house song. House is the word I was looking for. It's an okay house song. It's whatever. Just saying. Things may get a little bit real right about now. How many likes for that? Half naked pics depending on where they at. Look at here. You get standing in the back, ask your mommy why you posing like that. High hopes cause the money spent. Met a simple niggas cause she tired of the compliments. Whoa. But she keeps on posting. I'm saying though, no. if you're a professional model, This is, uh, I think it's time to retire rap. Guys, this came out 2020. This came out 2020. This came out 2020. 2020! Right here, phones. <laughs> Dog <laughs> That was pretty bad. This one has an exclamation point. Not what I expected. Oh yeah. I have no clue what to even say about that. Um, that is not what I expected from The Roots. That is like nothing I've ever heard from them before. Um, I, I liked it. I thought it was interesting and really intriguing. I'd give it kind of a light seven. I got got 3.4 million streams. Ew. Bruh. Fuck that shit, dude. Dog. Get the hell out of here with that crap. That was terrible. That was H&M core all the way. I'm giving that a 2 out of 10. Get the fuck out of here with that. Bitch, run the star, talk the star. I think a second to admire that one, it's a white boy. Two, he's using impact font. Three, the Neurotrap EP. Oh my god, man. Jesus Christ, that's terrible. Red headphones. Dog. But this ain't no first for me. I hit you back in Those are some very loud hi hats. When I pull up, got them pennies off. Red headphones, I got nothing else to say. This shit garbage. Dog. This shit's actually garbage. Next song uh, is from an artist named Caked Up and Mix Greens. Mix Green. This, this cover art looks terrible. In fact, all their cover art looks terrible. Look at these motherfuckers, dude. I know don't judge a book by its cover, but just look at the this guy's got like a, a shitload of fake chains on. He's covered in tattoos. He looks like he's he's a, he's ready to take a, a photo for a haircut like poster. And then this dude's like a, a skater wannabe. Oh my god. Wait, they have a song with 218 million streams, which is selfie caked up remix. Burst. Burst. This is the worst one of the day. I mean, by far. Ass clapping solo. Adrian hey, wishes they were this annoying. Hey, Ray! It's Thirsty Thirsty Thursday. All right, let's listen to their selfie remix. That is the worst of the day, by the way. That's a red headphones without a doubt Dog. in my fucking mind. That was actually the worst. Came out in 2014. You can tell they fell off. Cause nobody's listening to any of their shit in forever. They have 30,000 monthly listeners. Let me take a selfie. I see. I only got 10 likes in a <laughs> Oh my god. Wow.
about 2015. I want you in the worst way. Have you seen the way you look? Oh, Lord, have mercy. See, I walk up in a spot with some bad habits. But I'm feeding for this chick like a crack addict. Says you a bad bitch, you my fucking problem. And I want to solve What the fuck are these lyrics? <laughs> They're so bad. Just wait till you see my dick. Bruh. I think I've heard enough. Red headphones. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Wow, that was actually about as bad as this one. <laughs> Nikki Buell and Anna Thompson. Basically, I'll have them my way, but I'm not sure what you really call this. Her voice is horrible. Who the fuck do you think you is? Up in my face, being gay. Dog. Dude, we're finding some gold today. Why are these the worst? These here at the bottom of the list, this is really like bottom of the barrel shit right here. Like, wow. Wow. Wow, these are bad. Next is from The New Roses off of Dead Man's Voice. Oh no. MGK Core. Great mix. This came out 2016. This is butt rock. If there ever was such a thing as butt rock, giving it a red headphones not the worst of the day. Dog. Ridiculously tacky and uh, instantaneously aged. Next we have Ivy J with the song "Thirsty" of all things. Good start. Who are these people? How did they just get like 600,000 streams on some bullshit like this? Not famous, lady. Oh, maybe you are. Oh, she's a feature on this song. Ivy J comes off as uh, another cookie cutter R&B artist who brings literally, and I mean this, nothing to the table. I'd give that a red headphones. That is actually Dog. one of the most generic of the entire day, which is really saying something considering the level of generic bullshit that I've seen. Uh, that, that song really actually tips the scale somehow. All right, now here's one I'm excited for. This is from a guy named Big Fats. Okay, Big Fats off of... An album titled Appetizers, okay? Now, I'm actually excited for this. I want to see what the fuck this is about, all right? Let's see what, uh, let's see what Big Fats has to offer. Okay. These niggas way too thirsty. Uh, she just want to chill. chill. These niggas way too thirsty. Ah. These niggas way too thirsty. She say she gon' smoke weed. Yeah. Only if that shit is real strong. Yeah. She buy her own drink when she feel the song. It's so actually hard as shit. So lonely. Say she frustrated for real. I like the vibe a lot. Bro, the final song on here is from an album that's 13 hours long. Isn't that incredible? A 13 hour long album? That's real. 13 hours long and the song is 52 minutes. I don't know if we're even going to do that one. I actually like that. It, it's not perfect. It, it definitely seems like it's uh, built from pretty low budget. But it has a ridiculous amount of charm, and I think that's what really sells it for me. I'd give this an 8 minus. I think that's funny. I think that's entertaining, uh, but it's also serious enough. Like, uh, I feel like Big Fats, as ridiculous as that name is, the guy is actually bringing, uh, you know, a decent level of storytelling, and it's keeping me entertained. So, I think it's pretty good. Pretty good, actually. One of my favorites. Next, we have Thirsty All Spelled Out by Carbon Black. Now, um... What the fuck is this? Wake up alone, 
Mixed like shit, but you know. God, oh. everything about this is terrible. The mix is absolutely unfinished. Horrible, 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 horrible. The singing is terrible. Vocals are awful. The attitude's awful. This this whole song is a fucking disaster. Looking so see the drip in the chocolate. I can see it dripping from your lips. Oh, this came out 2020? I was like, oh, this must have been like 2010, right? Who? Who is making this shit in 2020? Dog. Honestly, I've heard some really bad songs. It had a moment or two where I was like kind of vibing, but it's still one of the worst. Dog <laughs> needs <laughs> needs a bit more work. Yeah, I agree. This is torture. Red headphones. I'm not listening to more of that shit. Dog. A straight up fuckboy, um, oh yeah, fuckboy trust fund core. That's some bullshit right there. Blades of grass, not to be confused with the uh, puddles of mud. Yeah, this is definitely um, generic bar music. This whole thing sounds like it was mixed uh, just all like through one microphone as well, which also makes it sound like straight up sitting at a bar and listening to it. Um, not a huge fan. I think that it's decent execution. If I heard it live, I would say, oh yeah, this is kind of fine. Give it a shrug. <laughs> Kelda Music, uh, Song Thirsty off of The Diva. Okay. <laughs> Bootleg Timbaland production. <laughs> Trying to give my attention, he thirsty, watching me suck my straw, flirty. Mushroom poop it over there, don't hurt me. Mr. <laughs> so Blaine fell off. Blame my side. Going crazy, I need a higher You know what's amazing? Nearly every single song on this album has more streams than any of the songs on um the new uh Fly Soldier album. I feel like that should really say something here. here Bruh! <laughs> Why can't I? Why can't we? And he'd be like, Can I? Can we? And see what a French kiss he came from France tonight. Hypnotist, but I got demon dice. I'm the queen, and you ain't nothing but an and animal. My world is a forest, and yours is a plant. <laughs> <laughs> These are the worst lyrics I've ever heard in my fucking life. <laughs> My life is a forest and yours is a plant. <laughs> Thirsty. We're almost done. That's a that's the worst of the day by far. Dog. That I think they literally saved the worst for last. I think that was actually like that could not be worse. That was a zero. Oh my god. Final song is uh, by Dappy T. Keys, and it's 52 minutes long. Do I think I'm going to listen to the whole thing? No. Do I think I'm even going to listen to two minutes of this? Probably not. <laughs> How do you sit here and do this shit for 52 minutes? <laughs> No comment. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have listened now to 60 songs titled Thirsty, and I gotta say, this was fun. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, come through and rank them and do something off stream, since I don't want to do that on stream, since it takes forever to do. 
So um, this is actually going to be the end of the streaming segment, funny enough. Hello everyone, what's up? So let's talk about this uh, ranking of songs titled Thirsty from Worst to Best. At the very bottom, I've decided that the Kelda music song is the worst one, the one that is off of D.Va. It feels like a representation of everything that's like, you know, amateur uh, artists trying to make it, but doing everything wrong and not having any talent or taste. It is a hilarious song, um, and I think that it's more than deserving of just out outclassing everything in terms of failure. Next, we have Eclipse Darkness with their song, uh, and that was also kind of the same thing. It feels very groomed for uh, for radio, without any passion. Like it's just one of the worst songs I've ever heard. It is horrifically put together, super cheesy, also extremely outdated, and it came out 2020. Uh, Caked Up's Thirsty is pretty much chain smokers and everything that I don't like about that entire environment of music all put together into a song with just a absolutely horrific drop uh, using a sample of dripping and uh, yeah, and turning that into uh, the beat with moaning on top of it, which is just ooh, horrible. Then we have the Apex Rise song. I got all these bitches on my iPhone. I got all these bitches on my iPhone. Um, the drop here is horrendous, the mix is terrible, this whole thing is just horrendously corny and cheesy. Just a, just a horrific piece of music. Then we had the song that was by Cutlass. This was the Christian rock song about Jesus, and I basically said this this sounds like uh, one of the songs that would be made fun of on South Park. Uh, this this song sounds completely ridiculous to me, but uh, but if you like it, that's fine. Then we had Doc Nasty, and this was a really funny one for me because this guy uh, also represented a, a really funny crowd of people who don't know what the hell they're doing. The mix and the entire everything of this track just sounds so off. The guy sounds like an old head talking about Instagram, and it just honestly, it's it's really funny how, how bad this track actually is. Then we actually get to Thirsty by AGR, which, funny enough, is actually not the worst song on this list, as even though it has a horrible sample of yodelay, yodelay, yee-hoo, it actually is significantly better than the, <laughs> than the last few tracks, and at least I can listen to it ironically. Uh, then we have Amelia Arsenic with, uh, with Thirsty. I, I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what this is. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember now. It's Thirsty spelled out. That's It's wrong in the notes. Yeah, this song was really... Oh, my God, I... It, it sounds like a Ru RuPaul song or whatever. Like, I, yeah, that, it was a disaster, like a, a real disaster. Then we have The Citizen with the big gulp uh, cover with, you know, the final, wait till you see my dick. If I'm being completely honest with you, this one probably grew on me a little bit. So maybe I'd put it up here uh, a little bit more. And that just comes down to the beat sounding pretty nice through headphones. Um, but besides that, it has some of the most boring, Run of the mill, it like predictable lyrics you could ever hear in a song that's like a like a trap song. Like it's actually so horrifically written, uh, where not a single line you you would like be able to attach to an original artist. Then we have IVJ, which I just wrote as generic R&B garbage. Uh, this IVJ person, I remember I looked into their stuff. I'd say the same thing where it grew a little bit just because the sound is more listenable, and I feel like maybe uh, one plus is a little harsh. Um, but that being said, still really generic. Uh, yeah, it sounds like radio filler bullshit. Then we have Toph with, uh, with that's, with the, the Thirsty, and it was horrifically mixed. The song was just a complete disaster, really did nothing for me. Party Next Door song was a real shock after the Black Flag track, as this song, uh, feels like it would perfectly land on the new Drake album. Um, which means it's bad. Then we have this one, which dropped, I don't know why I had a 4- on this before, but I believe that this Pretty Sister track, I, let me look real quick, um, you know what, this one, you just ignore this one, this one might be wrong, because I moved it down, I think I moved it down because I thought it was someone else. Then we have Old Dirty Bastard, this was a great one, um, with, uh, with the original soundtrack for that movie, um, the beat is nice in the beginning, but then just becomes generic garbage, sounding like, uh, you know, James Bond type beat. Uh, with the singing too from whoever their name is, I think it was Black Keith. Uh, either way, they they did a mediocre job. But I really think Old Dirty Bastard coming through and rhyming everything with thirst, like it's some sort of kindergarten nursery rhyme, is really the uh, the the nail in the coffin. Then we have the Sam Willows. This was just a super generic um, bullshit song that I can't even recall what it was. 
Um, then we have the New Roses, which I just wrote as Ford uh, F-150 Core, which, you know, sounds like the new Muse. Then we have the Hatebreed cover of Thirsty and Miserable. Uh, this was just really un. It, like like it was taking basically what made the original song great getting rid of that and then just putting in um, generic ass metalcore bullshit and I just wasn't a fan of it Kasky uh, this this one I'd also say is maybe a little bit too harsh on my part um, this was kind of the emo uh, bullshit if I had to rescore it I'd probably give it like a th solid three because um, the beats okay and the vibe is kind of unique to it so I don't I don't hate this one as much but I did write fuckboy garbage then we had the k-pop this is the beginning of the k-pop I'm surprised. This is the lowest rated K-pop uh, song considering how many there were. But a lot of them just come off as super generic. Uh, and for Rose, boring trap pop. I don't even remember this one. Uh, Mickey Mays, also don't even know what the hell this is. Uh, Mason Monroe, Thirsty Bridge. I had hopes for this one because I went out of my way to add it. Because, you know, Thirsty Bridge seems like a, a bit of a stretch in terms of, you know, thirsty. So, turns out it was terrible. If I had to rescore this, I'd probably put it down. I'd probably put it at like a one plus. This this song is horrendous, like just literally horribly mixed. Um, then we have Girls' Day. This was another K-pop uh, track. Then we have McKay. Um, I don't remember this. I, I think it's oh it's oh it's also K-pop. Did I add this twice? Make Mickey Mace? No no no. They just look so similar. Marvin Sapp. So this was a soul song. I think this one's also grown on me. I think it's probably like a four. Um, but just in general, I didn't know what to put it as. It was like, hey, it's, it's soul, it's boring ass shit. And yeah, it is. It's totally not my thing. Um, but it's also way different than anything else here, and I kind of appreciate it for that. Then we have uh, Days. This was, it's Days with a Z. This was the song that sounds like a horrible Megan Trainor uh, prodigy. Yeah, take me on a day, don't deserve a break. That's all I remember of the song, and it's not even the right song. It's someone else's song. Um, Johnny Fritz with Are You Thirsty, Boring Ass Reverb, Heavy Singer, Songwriter Country. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this. I'm also way too harsh on this. Um, I, I didn't, I wasn't a fan of it, but coming back to it, it seems like they're doing their own thing. It's just kind of boring to me. So, again, no hate with this one. Then we have the Hank Williams Jr. song, which was for a country original soundtrack, which also I feel like is, it's whatever. It is what it is, you know, not my thing. Uh, Lawrence Sanderson, um, just a pop song. This one was one of the le least offensive in terms of pop. Then Trevor Daniel, this was just kind of emo trap from the guy who made that one song. I don't remember what it's called, but yeah. Then we have the Choi Cello, the Julia Michaels type K-pop. Again, this was probably the least offensive K-pop track, so I was like, eh, whatever. And then we get to uh, Og3 Greedo, which is an artist I've been meaning to check out anyways. And this song is definitely one that, sorry about the noise, by the way, I keep fidgeting with this. O3 Greedo is kind of an interesting figure. I I I don't know. I, I kind of have some sort of soft spot for this track, even though the singing's kind of odd. Um, sure, it has a weird first impression on you, but I feel like it's one of those that uh, is still more interesting than a lot of the other tracks. Then we have Thirsty by Dirty Streets. Um, this one, just generic bar music. Then we have Bloodthirsty by Cartier God. This is one of the most unique tracks of the entire playlist. This one is so strange. Um, it's, it's kind of horribly put together, but I find it super intriguing and really interesting, and I, I kind of want to check out more from this artist. Then we have She Thirsty by Soldier Boy, and the fact that this is above all those other songs really says something about, uh, how, you know, irony can really play a big part in this list. Tony Romero, this was just a, a decent, you know, funky house banger. Uh, Thirsty Thursday, a little funky, um, reggae banger. Then we have The Grim Lynn, so this is where it starts to get in the positive. Uh, Grimlin, pff, I don't even fucking remember this. That alone should drop this a few points. My god, Grimlin was, um, damn. I feel like I studied for the test, and now I'm, now the answer, or, like, the question's right in front of me, and I don't even know what to say with this one. Ivy Lab, great drums, good sample, claps are crazy. Yeah, this was, honestly, one of those that I really enjoyed, but then Returns, I was like, man, this garbage is bullshit. And so I was like, eh, hey, was it really that good? It's pretty good. I'd, I'd probably go, I'd move it up to, like, a seven. Uh, Thirsty by Blitzen Trapper. This was actually a, a decent country song. Um, it, yeah, it had like a nice solo, but the writing was boring, so it kind of felt like it was kneecapped at some point. Pray the truth. Uh, yeah, this was, uh, I believe this was a rap song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was the one with um, Wiz Khalifa. And I really liked the verses, but I thought the chorus was really boring. But the verses, they kind of kicked ass. They were kind of nice. Eric Anderson, this was uh, 
This was Thirsty Boots, one of those that's very strange, an extremely unique one on the list. A sweet, heartfelt country song that just seemed a little out of place, and I think because of that, it, it came off a little strange, but it has uh, some sweet writing. Definitely not my thing, not something I'm wanting to come back to, but I enjoyed it. Then we had Thirsty by Ray Scott. So this is a slow country banger. It's a really open and uh, intimate track that I actually really enjoyed the writing of. Um, yeah, this one was a bit of a surprise. Then we had Thirsty by The Roots. This was an interesting one because everything I've heard from The Roots has been hip hop and there's basically no hip hop in this. So really intriguing, curious to check out the album. Thirsty by Gucci Mane was just a hell of a banger, a super fun trap song, uh, well made. You know, Gucci Mane brings his personality. Then we had the Jeffrey uh, song, which was really chill, had great instrumental pieces. It just was overall really nice. Then we had the song by The National. I'd probably move this down um, to like a, like a six, like a solid six. Just because even though the instrumental is really solid, the song overall is kind of boring and not something I'm really uh, that I care too much about. So I'd kind of move that down to a shrug. West Side Boogie. This was a really solid rap track. I love the writing here. He sounds extremely passionate about his writing. Um, yeah, so this was, this was pretty good. The Mariah Carey song went super duper hard. This one grew on me. I think I bumped it up. So this is kind of like, I think like, yeah, like the top five now. This is fifth place. I got, it said it's thirsty in Paris. I love that. Whoever said that in chat, that shit's hilarious. Now let's get on to the final leg here. Uh, we have Thirsty by Big Fats. Now this one is not very well produced. In fact, I'd say it's one of the worst sounding songs. Funny enough, but I feel like Big Fats with such a ridiculous name brings such charm to the track. Um, sounding like he really has something to say and like he has some uh, some energy behind him, right? That That's worth checking out. So someone who I'm kind of curious to hear more from. Then we had Thirsty by Good Girls, another instance where I don't think it's as great sounding as some of the other ones, but the points here that can, like stick out and that are super catchy, that's what really does it for me. I love the, these so thirsty. The layered chorus sounds amazing. It's really fun. Uh, eh, it's kind of my thing, you know? Then we had the K-Tempest spoken word track, which I thought was really nice. Um, sure, it's not, you know, one that you can kind of move along to, but I like the atmosphere that it built. So it's not just something that's like, oh, it's good on first impression, but never come here again. It seemed like something that you could actually listen to again, even though it's spoken word, which I also really appreciated. And then finally, number one is actually the first song we listened to. It is Thirsty and Miserable by Black Flag. This track absolutely goes hard as shit. I love how uh, exhausting it is for going for a song that's about basically like, a never-ending need to consume it's like the sound and the actual message go together hand in hand super complimentary i might even move this up to a nine minus ladies and gentlemen that is the entire ranking of every song titled thirsty this was a hell of a fun time hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, make sure you like make sure you subscribe and let me know what uh, word you want me to do next well that's all for today all right peace out